3.3, we're looking at proportionality theorems. So we get these proportions when we cut things in half or when we have parallel lines. So I'm just going to go over the theorems. We have the triangle proportionality theorem. So if a line parallel to another line intersects a triangle, then it divides the two sides proportionally. So here's an example. If I look here, let's see. I can take this proportion right here. So 9 is proportional to 6. And then same thing, we're trying to find this, so I'm going to call it x. x is proportional to 4, and those create the same ratio. So you would still solve it the same. You would cross multiply 6 times x and then 9 times 4. And then I'm going to divide both sides by 6. So that value would be 6. So we're doing the same thing. It's just knowing what proportions go together. Another thing is if we have three parallel lines that intersect two transversals, then they also make proportions. So look, u, w, and now we're going to stay on the transversal to w, y equals v, x to x, z. So you would write your fractions on the same transversal and set them equal to each other. I don't have an example for that one. Our last one is triangle angle bisector theorem. So if a ray, a ray is just a line coming out of an angle, it bisects, that means cuts in half the angle of a triangle. So see, we have two congruent angles. It's cut it in half. Then it divides the opposite sides into segments whose lengths are proportional to the others. So AD is proportional to DB. And then CA is proportional to CB, and those create the same ratio. So here I have a triangle with our bisector. And we know 7 is proportional to 13. And then QR is proportional to RS. But we don't know what QR is. So we're going to call it 15 minus x. That's how we would find that side. So 15 minus x is proportional to x. And sometimes you get two x's in one equation. So cross multiply 7 times x equals 13 times 15 minus x. And I put the 13 in parentheses here because I need to remember to distribute that. So 13 times 15 is 195. And then 13 times negative x is negative x. And now I'm going to solve. So I'm going to add this 13x over here and get 20x equals 195. Now to get x by itself, I'm going to divide both sides by 20. So 195 divided by 20 is 